who wants to role play a guarantee with me here? Who, who's brave? Come on. I'm, I'm hearing crickets here. I'll do I mean, it. I'll do it. <clears throat> Let me get, I'll get to you. Gerald, you'll go next. Who, who else? One of the ladies, maybe. Suzette? Okay. I see you. You may, Suzette, uh, what kind of, I want to, uh, Suzette, I want to do that rent to own. Um, it sounds good, but uh, what kind of guarantee do you have? Kind of guarantee. Hi, yeah. Claude, what, what kind of guarantee are, are we looking for? What kind of, what are you looking exactly to do? Okay, off the role play, that was good. Give me a stroke in that. Great question, Claude. I wish more people would ask me about guarantees. Thank you for doing that. Give me, that's called stroking. Now, inside my head, my mother's going, see, you, you asked a good question. You're a good boy. <laughs> okay. This is part okay. of this is part of the shit you got to do. <laughs> okay, you did that very well, though. I just want I, I just want you to put a cherry on top of this. Um, you don't have a guarantee uh, on this rent to own, uh, and my family and I move in, and can we buy it later? And do you have guarantees, Suzette? Great question, Flo. Thank you very much for asking that. I wish a lot more people asked that exact question. What exactly are you looking for, Claude? Well, how can I help you? Help me here. I just want, I just want to make sure that, you know, uh, I mean, my, my wife really likes you. My kids like you. My goldfish likes you. I just, we're going to move in this house and uh, I'm just a little worried. Will we qualify for a mortgage in three years? Did you qualify for a mortgage? So, oh, okay. Well, thank you very much. I'd like them too. I like your family as well. And I would like to help them as well. The same way I want to help you. Um, you're looking for a guarantee that you're going to be approved in three years, exactly? Is that I'm trying to understand here what kind of guarantee yeah, I'll be able just, to provide. You know, I'm giving you $20,000. It's 1500 a month. It's a three-year contract. And we, my wife loves the house and the kids love the school and everything. We're ready to, I'm ready to pull the trigger and send you the money and do the contract. But uh, um, what if something goes wrong or, or you know, what, uh, what if I can't qualify or something like that? Well, suppose that I can do all those things for you. What would you say to me next? Okay, off the role play, time out. You were, I'm gonna give you a B plus there. You were so close. <laughs> you were so close. What, does anybody know what Suzette was just doing, that one little mo moment she was doing, that motion she was doing? Hmm. She was closing. Close. Yes, yeah, thank you, Mark. She was closing me. So even if she doesn't have a guarantee or she, she doesn't know what, uh, she's gonna fix it maybe later. What's the most important thing when prospects bring up stalls and objections in business? It's, that's an opportunity. What do you mean by opportunity, Gerald? An opportunity to close. Opportunity to close. Make them paint themselves in a corner. Okay. Suzette, you want to finish up or should I throw it to Gerald? I put you on the hot seat there for a long time. Yeah, give it up to Gerald. Okay, Gerald. <laughs> Gerald, um, you know, gee, my, everybody likes you, yada, yada, yada. Um, is, there a guarantee, uh, is there a guarantee we're going to be able to uh, buy this home? Or, or can we, you know, what kind of guarantee do you offer? <laughs> Claude, I'm telling you, you, you are uh, really sharp uh, to ask that question. And actually, I do have a guarantee. And this is the guarantee I'll give you, Claude, that I will be in the trenches with you. And I'm going to give you the best service that I possibly, that God possibly has allowed me to give. Now, as far as uh, getting this deal done, I need to ask you some more questions. Are you all right with that? Okay. Uh, off the role play, you're going back into qualification step now, the second step. I want you to get a commitment from me, though, up front. Claude, if we could give you a guarantee. If we could give you the guarantee you're looking for, how would you feel about that? What would you say to me next? Claude, could we move forward? If you had that guarantee and you and I have a meeting of the minds today, I know you have questions, I have questions. What, would we be able to move forward and make a commitment at the end of this phone call? See, you can close, okay. you can close people up front when they bring up stalls and objections. But traditional sales guys, what do they, and girls, what do they do when they get these objections and, and all these questions? What do they do? Try to solve them right there. Yeah, they get defensive, don't they? They 
get defensive. So I want you, let, let's reverse the role, Gerald, one more time. Uh, Gerald, Gerald uh, you know, good for you for asking for guarantees and things like that. And you want to guarantee that you're going to qualify in three years. Is that what you're saying to me? Yes. Okay. And if, I, and if we can solve that problem, and if we can give you the guarantee you like, what, what happens? Uh, what would you say to me next? Well, first of all, you, you, you're saying if. I'm, I'm asking you for something, and you're saying if. I'm, I'm oh, a little I'm saying, confused. I'm saying, yes, I am saying if, because I don't know enough about you yet. I have to ask you a few more questions. You ask me a few, and at the end of this conversation, you're either going to move forward or you can fire me, please. Is that okay? Sure. That's, okay. I like that. The only thing I want to know is you brought up guarantees, and I think I respect that. That's a good question. If I can give you what you're looking for, what happens next? Then I think we should do the deal. You think? Uh, I, like you said, uh, if, and now that I'm saying think, you see what I mean, Claude? Yeah. I believe if you would, if you would do this, it will be a deal. There's no question about it. I'm not sure if I understand. What does that mean exactly? Is that yes or is that maybe That's a yes. Yes. Maybe no? That's a yes. We would, I would okay, be glad what? to move forward I, with you. I couldn't hear you. My hearing aid fell out again. What? <laughs> <laughs> I would be, well, maybe I could help you pay for that hearing aid. <laughs> That's a yes, Claude. All my volunteers, thank you. You get a round of applause. You get the commitment up front. Um, if and Gerald just did something, we here's a ten dollar word. It's called an obfuscation. He changed the subject. Did you, he kind of went away from my direct question? You ever see? Has anyone here ever heard a prospect do that? Mm -hmm. Sure. Why do pro? Here's a question for the group. Why do prospects change? change you'll ask him a straightforward question. It's a yes no question. Why do they change the subject or go to a different place? Because they're not. Well, that's not what they want to talk about. And what does that tell you that's so important up front before you, you do all that free consultation for 45 They're minutes. not ready. They're not ready? They're not what ready. Else? Give me more. That's the what thing else? you got to target on. They don't want to commit. They don't want to commit. Maybe it's a money issue. Huh? Mm -hmm. Dave, you got to hit your mute, buddy. Um, you've got you've got to find out up front. If, how many, and I'm guilty of this. How many people here have given free consultations for 40, 50, 60 minutes, gotten in their car, driven, stayed up late at night doing contracts? Yeah, Tony, I'm Guilty. Here, you know, and then we found out, oh, gee, Claude, you're a great guy. Thanks for the information. Have a wonderful Christmas. God bless you. If I had the money, I'd do a deal right now. Call me in six months or maybe I'll save up or something. I'll sell my dog. <laughs> here, here's, the, here's the rule. Is it their fault or is it our fault? This is a tough one now. No, it's easy, our fault. Why? It's because we sh we've got the gut, gut system and the gut system gets us and, 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 and you've got a timer and you know, and you should know within five minutes whether you should go forward or cl cut it off. Sometimes even, sure. three, sometimes even three minutes. Control. You got to stay in control. You got to stay in control, but do you want them to think you're controlling? No. No. <clears throat> the hard thing about sales is it's so, it's theatrical. It's dynamic. It's dynamic. It's theatrical. It's science. Actually persuading somebody, getting information, um, but also getting likability and trust. When you go to your doctor's office, what do you want? What kind of personality do you want from that doctor? Somebody who juggles balls and tells jokes or somebody who says, gee, where does it hurt? Someone who listens and cares and is going to solve your problem. Right. That's, we've got to try to create that with our prospects. I have a question over here in the chat from Hugo Malara. How long, let me see here. Um, how 